Okay, how are we doing out there? First things first, my name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Illuminous 4K Screen Paint using Ambient Light Rejection, Technology Game Times 4 and 5. Trust me when I say I have no time for this video, but we have to do it because it has to be done because, like I said, we have to stay on Mr. J because he is constantly, constantly, constantly hating on our company. When somebody shows this much hatred toward a company, it means only one thing. It's pure jealousy. Now, let me show you something right here. Now, this is a uh, images that we got about a couple of, uh, we got this image, I say about maybe a week ago. This is where we got this image from. This is from a customer who claimed that his 3000 lumen ultra short throw projector that sits probably about less than a foot away from his screen, the image did not pop up. Now, I want you to look at this image crystal clear. This is the image that he claimed, well, that's the image he claimed did not pop up. So, the first two, that's my screen right there. That is my customer's 235.1 screen, same screen paint. These are the first two images that he sent to us, saying that the screen did not pull up, he couldn't see it, it was washed out, and so forth, right? That's what he claims. Now, usually when we get videos like this, and keep in mind, we have tested our projectors, our screen paints on just about every kind of projector. We've done demonstrations outside. We know what the technology can do. We can look at a false claim, and we can see a false claim when we see it. Keep in mind, he never filed a complaint, all right? So the first thing he did was he got mad because we wouldn't give him another quart of paint. So what he did was he took these images and he sent them over to Jamie. Of course, Jamie being the hater that he is, and it's a shame that he's like that, would use anything he possibly could just to tear somebody down. And man, you never learn. Every time you try to do something um, to damage your company, it comes back to blow up in your face and you just never learn. You never learn. So. Keep in mind, he's using a 3000 lumen ultra short throw projector. I'm gonna show you something right here. I'm gonna move this up. Now I got this blocked over because I don't want you to see his information because his cell phone number will pop up under the text. Let me see if I can bring this down a bit. I'm gonna open it up a little bit. All right, so right there, let me get my big old head out of the way. Right there, you can see it. That is his projector. That real, real light thing, that is the projector. That's how close his projector is sitting to the wall at 3,000 lumens. All right. Now, let's come back here. That's my, that's my uh, customer's screen. Same screen paint. He has a spray on application. And there's mine. Same screen paint, right? Now, there's his screen right there. The sad thing about this is we'll get customers like this from time to time, and everybody has to deal with these particular customers. Either you work behind the counter, or you work in front of that front of the front of the counter, wherever you may work, or wherever you may be your company or whatever, you always have to deal with a customer who's ever gonna try to scam you or try to take from your company. And what makes this sad enough that an individual like Mr. Jamie will do anything he can to exploit whatever he can to try to damage your company, but it won't work. If you took the time to look at all our demonstrations, you would notice that we have done um, demonstrations on just about every projector we can get our hands on, including doing demonstrations outside, something you have not done properly yet. Doing a video under an, a roof that's protecting your screen and putting your screen on a slant so the light doesn't pass by it is a fail. Now, if you want to basically out us and you know, do this kind of dumb nonsense from day to day, I got a challenge for you. Once you get yourself 1100 lumen projector, go outside on your front porch, or now your front porch, just take it outside, take it way outside, past the porch, and do a demonstration on 1100 lumens. Because I'm gonna show you something. This is the reason why we know that the video he sent up, I mean the pictures he sent us basically were falsified. Right around the time when these pictures were sent in, we got our Sony 1100 lumen projector. So I'm gonna come out here and show you. Now there's my screen right here. This is my big boy screen right here with the condensed lighting. It is going on around seven o'clock. There is my Sony projector right there. And that is the image that is pulling up at around, oh, we got a bird out there. Look at the size of that bird. Zoom in right there. Get a bird right there. So that is the image I'm getting off my screen at almost seven o'clock. That's what we're pulling up. And there's a projector right there. So you can see it for yourself. That's the image I'm getting. And if you notice, it's not sitting under the roof, right? So I'm gonna pop under just for a minute. Get the trace line. We are from here, and we are around 
12 feet away from the screen using a Sony VPL X1000 1100 lumens 720p projector. So that's the image we're picking up, right? So we're at seven, at seven o'clock. It's about seven o'clock right now. We're gonna keep this out here to probably around 12 o'clock. That's how long we're gonna keep it out there for. But that's just to show you the image that we're picking up. And this is on 1100 lumen projector. So that's how I knew something was wrong there. We, we knew a lot of things were wrong there because I have projectors downstairs that are 2600 lumens. We have three thousand. None of our, we have one projector that's an ultra short throw. But an ultra short throw, keep in mind, is going to be to produce an image better on a screen than a long throw because a long throw has to travel a distance. It only has to travel a distance, but lumens are going to start to drop off as it gets to the screen. When you're dealing with an ultra short throw, that means that's less of a distance throw you gotta deal with, which means the image is gonna show up brighter and higher on the screen with no problem. But I'm doing this with no problem at around 12 feet and some change away from my screen on 1100 lumen projector. And if you notice, if you look at it from how, how far the logs are pulled back away from the porch, it's not even being protected by the porch. So our challenge for Mr. J is that match our same demonstration out here. Do our same demonstration. I'm not talking about sticking it on the porch. I'm not talking about having your projector sitting right up on top. No 4,200 lumens, 1,100 lumen projector, 12 feet back, and take it off the porch. Matter of fact, you got a nice big yard out there in front of your, in the back of your house. Take it out there and do the demonstration from there. Because we can back up what our technology can do. The answer is, can you do it? And on top of that, you know what? I really would like to see you do a star field demonstration with all the lights on. When I bring my camera down, that means we got a car passing by. I don't want to get them on record. I want to record them. Now look at this. Let me show you something real quick. That's the angle gain on this all the way around, with no problem. Image pulls up with no problem at all. And this is 1100 lumens outside at around, around, 13, around 12 feet. So if I come over here, I'll show you again. We are around um, 12 feet. There's my projector right there. And that's the image we're pulling up. And I gotta cut my grass in the front because my grass is crazy. This is how far we come up the porch. So we have no protection for the screen whatsoever. And if you notice, my screen's not on a slant because I've seen that demonstration when you had the screen on a slant. That means any light coming in would have basically hit the back of the screen, it wouldn't hit the front. So that's how we knew that something was wrong with the, with the pictures he was sending, because the minute we got in the um, the minute we got in the 1100 lumen projector, I mean, I knew there was something wrong with it to begin with, because the minute we saw the, the images, I'm like, come on now, we've tested this. We have customers who have ultra short throw projectors that have used our screen paint. So that's how we knew something was wrong there. That's how we knew something was wrong there. I'm not going to show you. That's, these are the text messages that were going back and forth. So you can see that bottom line, I didn't pull the images off online and just snap pictures on. This is an actual conversation we were having with the fellow. Um, that's just me right there. So he's saying that's the image right now. Right there. It's a conversation we're having back and forth with him. 